Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, this is Eddie, that's Lemon Pest on the left in the background, and today we're back with some more Starfield Shattered Space. And last time we agreed to help the two houses, I think it was uh, Dulkef and Vithal, in order to see if we can fix the issue within the dome in the background there. So, let's get into it. Choop. There we are, very nice. All right, Lemon Pest, come along. Yes. Nothing? All right, there we go. And we also met those two brothers, if you remember. We're a pair of idiots, honestly. Good grief. I mean, granted, one of them... I mean, he did try and sell the urn with his mother's ashes still in it, which is kind of... Well, I mean, it's... I mean, it's well, it's not kind of bad. It's bad. It's awful. But, well... I don't know. So, who... That was a bit of a weird noise. All right. So, one of the great... One of the great houses is up here. I mean, wow. That itch actually is kind of a funky looking house. Are these pools? Can I go in here? Oh, oh no, it's fountains. Whoops. Never mind. I'm taking a bath in the fountains. Is it the trees making that noise? It's a little weird. All right, so house, house Kadik. Oh, it was the three houses, wasn't it? It was the three, not the two. All right. Whoa. Kind of fancy. Hello. Guide you. Envoy. All right. This is this is this is very fancy. Ooh, a little bit of a low door there. Good God. Mm. Wow. Talk about living rich, Lemon Pest. My God. It's in here. Even the bathrooms look luxurious. Come on now. It's in here. I'm sure nobody will mind. Oh, we need a key, really? Well, God bless it. They like the sort of funky sculptures, don't they? They really do. And the candles. Bloody fire hazard. Good God. Set the place ablaze if you're not careful. Uh, any other tablets? Anything for us to read just to make sure we're getting the full story here? And this is this the is outsiders very will nice. Come to accept his embrace, just as you I wouldn't bet on Have it, love. Documentation going. Stop reminding me. Ooh. I'm drowning. A Reuben and a nebu neb nebu nebula. What? Spicy chicken stew. Well, and meat love. Heard it's impossible to find decent cosa out there. I can't imagine doing that kind of work and not being able to find a decent drink. All right, well, well, let's just um, keep going, having a look around here. Oh. The MOC, what's the MOC? Ministry of Commerce, maybe? Okay, so somebody's a scientist. Oh, here we go, encrypted slate, one, two, two, three. The slate is encrypted. A cipher key. A what? Some kind of cipher key is needed to unlock it. Well, we'll 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 find it. Maybe that also needs a key. Bloody hell! I'm a bit mad on security. Here. I mean, I get it. You get nosy folks like me busting in here. Huh. Okay. Well. Oh. We don't need it. We've got plenty of it. We don't need it. Good lord. We probably do, but, well... I am deeply curious. Indeed, I am. Oh, g Is that like the symbol for the house, just because? Oh, it's a bit... Ooh, hello. Ah, uh, the best the country's gonna be here. We've got to know. Yep, yep. Uh. Yep. And yet. Okay. I wonder if any more of them had safes hidden under the desk. But never well never mind. We don't we don't need to know. It's kinda nice nice plan. Um, but no no means to access PCs to find out exactly what is going on here, so what's up this way? 
exactly the impression it's kind of peaceful isn't it please do not don't you see how all this works in our favor it's not up for discussion our great school you worked so hard to achieve it's done no you'd risk our future and reputation oh. as a house but you are the chosen elder ah don't patronize me the great serpent spared our house we are favored here shouldn't you get back to the council? We can't afford to be absent at a time like this. I guarantee I'm not missing much. But you're right. They won't mind. I'll be heading back soon enough. Alright. I mean, this is this is kind of nice, isn't it? They were kind of peaceful. I can imagine sitting there. Yes. Hello. Don't mind me. I'm just, um... Inspecting the premises before I have a discussion with Razma Kadik. So, Akris has sent our newest vindicator to inquire about Sahima. Who is Sahima? Don't worry. Jamal's already told me all about you. Okay. I'm Razma, elder of House Kadik and head of the Ministry of Conjunction. Ah, Ministry of Conjunction, MOC. Um, well. Um, what? Can you tell me about House Kadik? House Kadik is one of the three noble houses under House Varun. We've a reputation on being the more moderate of the three. Not as fervent as House Vithal, and not as passive as House Dulkef. Okay. We're also largely associated with the Ministry of Conjunction, since I lead the department. Okay, uh, so what's the Ministry of Conjunction then? The Ministry of Conjunction is one of the three government branches of our society. We deal in information to ensure the High Council can make educated decisions. Most of our work is highly classified. Even the High Council itself may not be aware of all that we're involved in. Well, I mean... I suppose we could be kind of nice about it. I suppose it is an honour to meet you. You are the head of the house. Well, it's also an honor to meet one as interesting as yourself. I wouldn't have suspected an outsider to be made promised. But who am I to argue with the Great Serpent's choice? Well, exactly. And I am breathtaking, as you can see. Hmm. Well... We need Sahima's help to recalibrate the morning device. I know the council is looking to Sahima for answers, but the truth is, she's been taken, <gasps> along with other members of the house. Oh dear. They're being held hostage. Oh god. By zealots. And now they're demanding negotiations. Would you like me to go and negotiate? My tactics are a little brutal, but I do get results. Um. Yeah. How were the zealots able to kidnap them in the first place, though? What happened to Dazra was a cataclysmic event. Mm. The city may seem in order now, but those first few days... Ah, uh, it was chaos. It was chaos. Yeah. And the zealots took advantage. Typical. I mean, they, they don't negotiate. They kill on sight. I know this. I've met several hundred of them. Perhaps the zealots you know. But they were once a part of Varun society. Our relationship is far more complex. The Zealots have yet to name specifics. At best, they'll demand an inordinate amount of credits or firearms. All right. Worst case, a seat at the High Council or even the reinstatement of their house. House Malene. They Malin. know we can't risk Sahima for Dazra's sake. So... They won't hold back when it comes to demands. Hmm. Yeah, what can you tell me about House Malene then? House Malene was fully dedicated to John Darbaru. They objected when his brother, Jarek, was chosen to take over as leader. They knew he would bring an end to the Serpent's Crusade. It's why they abandoned their house and became the zealots you know today. To continue what they believe is Jinan and Jandar's work. 
Hmm. Well, I mean... I could get the hostages first and then they'd have no leverage. Aha. Uh -huh. Just saying. My thoughts exactly. Yes. Normally I'd have agents doing everything possible to find them. But we too suffered losses. We need to be here. Present. I couldn't risk more lives. It's the only reason I even agreed to these negotiations. But now that you're here, I can finally take action. Well, all right. Um. Hmm. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll bring him home. Don't need any negotiations. And that's where the issue lies. What do you mean? I don't know where the zealots are keeping Sahima, but. I have a good idea who does. Their name is Merrick. Merrick is a Kadik, and they also work for me as an agent in the Ministry of Conjunction. Right. This is where matters get complicated. Okay. Um. <laughs> Let's hear about these complications. As I said, Merrick works for me in the Ministry of Conjunction. They've been establishing an inside relationship with the Zealots for some time now. On my orders, forcing them to give up the information could jeopardize all they've worked for. So don't expect them to be forthcoming. Get the information any way you see fit. As long as no physical harm comes to them. Oh, she. Well, hmm. Any tips on getting through to him? Merrick is proud of what they've accomplished, so I doubt they'll give up information easily. If being persuasive isn't your strong suit, perhaps appealing to their substantial ego may help. If you can stomach it. Just don't be direct. I'm sure it would put them on the defensive. Either that, or make them completely unwilling to talk. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll return once I've learned the lo location, then. See that you do. You'll find Merrick upstairs in the meditation room. You have a meditation room? Damn. All right, Lemon Pest, let's, um, let's go up to the meditation room. Varun statue. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, this is very nice. Very um peaceful, should we say. Hello. You're no member of House Kadik. What are you doing here? Um hmm. I'm here to see you. And you are? I'm Vindicator Eddie. Ah, the heretic turned promised. I was wondering when our paths would cross. Hey, hey, there you go. So tell me, what would a chosen one such as yourself want with someone like me? Hmm. Oh, I think you know. Oh, I certainly don't. I may have many talents, but mind reading isn't one of them. Hmm. Well. You can drop the act. Razma told me about your position. Did she now? Mm hmm. I guess this means the High Council is still asking Auntie Razma where Sahima is. And if you're here making demands. She obviously has decided to make use of you rather than undergo sincere negotiations. I see what's going on here. You do, do you? Very perceptive. I can see why Razma is so impressed with you. Well, I am one of the few to garner any amount of trust with the Zealots, so 
she should be. Mm. I can't imagine where the Ministry of Conjunction would be without me. Oh, well, of course. Well, of course. Hmm. And at such a young age, too. She must consider you a prodigy. I do have a natural talent. Uh -huh. It's nice to see I'm being properly recognized. I may excel in my skills, but it doesn't mean the hours I put in are any less. Oh, of course not, mate. Jeez. Hmm. Yeah. Of course not. You know, good work takes time, no matter how talented you are. Exactly. There's still research, analysis, documentation. It, too much documentation, if you ask me. Ugh, paperwork, right? But altogether, I have the exact talents needed to do this job, which is why I was entrusted with the Zealots in the first place. I admit it hasn't always been easy. They are Zealots, you know. Oh, yes, of course. Um, hmm. It takes a lot to deal with the levels of stress you must be experiencing. Some days, it takes everything. Oh, such a monster. I can't even tell you how much time and effort it's been to sway the zealots my way. Mm, I can imagine. Not to mention the stress over my own personal well-being. I may be the best at what I do, but I'm not stupid. The zealots do have the element of unpredictability. Mm, well, you know... If they're unpredictable, you can see how the negotiations may not work. I had a feeling this conversation was going to take a turn. I've worked hard to obtain my position with the Zealots. And like I've told Rosma a thousand times, I have no reason to believe they're going to hurt my dear cousins, especially Sahima. So, as far as I'm concerned, that information stays with me. <sighs> well, I mean, you can't say that with absolute certainty. You're risking lives and House Kadik's integrity. Hmm. You make a good point for an outsider. I know. And perhaps I should take your presence here as a sign. Perhaps you should. The location you're looking for is Shadow Station Epsilon. Very good. It's an old Varun base that they've taken over for themselves. Rosma will know it. Let her tell you the details, seeing as how I'm about to be reassigned. Hmm. Well... That wasn't so hard, was it? Watch your tone. You may be promised, but you're still an outsider. Yes, but I'm an outsider with a very impressive gun that could blow your head off, boy. Get back to your meditation. Come on, Lemon Pest. We've got what we wanted. Stupid kid. Alright. Done. You must have gotten the location. Yep. Yes, he gave me the name uh, Shadow Station Epsilon and said you know where to find it. <laughs> I figured they wouldn't be completely forthcoming. If my intel is correct... You can find Shadow Station Epsilon in the Badlands, north of Dazra. I can send you the coordinates. Go for it. Hmm. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Shadow Station Epsilon? I have a bad feeling here. Epsilon was once a research station, with a focus on grav drive manipulation. Okay. The Zealots have since vastly expanded upon it. But it makes sense if they intend to use Sahima to their advantage. Yeah, what are these Shadow Stations? The Shadow Stations were established during the Serpent's Crusade. Oh. A series of secret military installations that few knew about, and even fewer may remember. The idea was to have isolated centers focused on different aspects of furthering the Crusade. This way, if one fell, it wouldn't in danger the others I see well those zealots are about to lose their leverage if anything happens to the hostages 
They will lose a lot more than leverage. Now that we have a rescue mission underway, I'll speak to Merrick about setting up the negotiations. I expect them to be pliable after their last encounter with you. The current plan is to hold them at one of the geothermal power stations. Okay. Meet us there when Sahima and the others are safe. Eh. A neutral location outside of Dazra. I'll be there. I see you have a grasp on how these types of negotiations work. Yep. I'll stall the zealots as long as I can. Which shouldn't be an issue. That being said, I'd still appreciate it if you could act quickly. Now, Jamal wants an update before you leave. Just don't let her distract you for too long. Yeah, yeah. See? The epitome of diplomacy, me, you know? All right, so what? Vindicator, we're... Yes. a word before you go. All right, go on. Tell me, Vindicator. Ooh, cool tattoos. What do you know about the Zealots? Um... Well... They are old members of the once noble house Malin. I'm impressed. You've already learned quite a bit from your time with us. Oh, yeah. The Zealots are widely frowned upon within our society. Not surprised. They're a remnant of the Serpent's Crusade. Days we'd like to forget. Uh -huh. Has my dear sister given you any history on our house's relations with the Zealots? Um, hmm... Yeah, does she know? She might not know. Erasmus said the Ministry of Conjunction keeps tabs on the Zealots. I see. I should have expected as much. Rasma would have everyone believe she only wishes to keep an eye on the Zealots, so the Council can make informed decisions. The truth is, she's had this particular group of Zealots under her thumb for quite some time. This is only a problem now because she's lost control. That is the real reason why Razma hasn't informed the High Council, and I'm sworn to silence. Well, hmm. Yeah, she lost control of them. Yes, I'll get to that momentarily. So, she doesn't want the Council to know a true relationship with them. That's a little... suspicious. Exactly. House Kadik already has a reputation for being sympathetic to the Zealots, but the truth is far worse. Razma wants the Zealots to back House Kadik, so the balance of power between the noble houses would shift to us. She's mm. been employing them, paying them in supplies that aid their blind crusade. Hmm. Yeah, you're sympathetic to the Zealots? There are several members who are sympathetic toward them or their cause. Some see beyond their extremist veneer and believe they're just misguided. A very small few may believe Jandar truly was the rightful heir. But none would ever admit it. Mm. I'm certain this is a case that members of the other houses feel the same. House Kadik is just the only one who's been exposed for it. I do find it hard to believe the Council doesn't know about this. They must be aware in some way. The Council knows nothing of her work with the Zealots, and I aim to keep it that way. No. All Elders have their own ambitions. I'm certain that's all they see. What none of us expected was the disaster that is the scaled Citadel. Uh -huh. The aftermath is what allowed the Zealots to grab Sahima and the others, flipping the balance of power in their favor. Razma has lost control and is putting House Kadik's reputation and power at risk. Well... Yeah, I'll see to it that the Zealots have no power in these negotiations. And that's what I wish to speak to you about. Oh god, go on. House Kadik shouldn't be associating with Zealots at all, except on an extermination level. I see. But worse, we absolutely cannot be supplying them with ordinance of any kind. Okay. We need to cut ties with the Zealots altogether. Hmm. 
Yeah, I take it this conversation isn't about giving you an update. Far from it. I want you to put an end to any connections between House Kadik and the Zealots. And while my position won't allow me to be blunt, I'll still make it clear. You want me to kill him? Should the hostages not survive, Rasma would blame the Zealots and cut all ties. Um... You're condoning the murder of your own family. I'm doing what I must to preserve this house. All you need to get is Sahima's research, which she has with her. I don't know about that, man. That seems... that seems hella dodge. Well, I'm not committing to anything. Think about it if you must. But if you care about your people... You'll come to the same conclusion as I have. And when you do, just know that we can't afford any loose ends. No witnesses. As far as everyone else is concerned, the hostages were dead when you arrived, and you exacted revenge in House Kadik's name. I'm not committed to anything yet. I trust you'll make the right decision. Until then, I'll see you at the negotiations. That is shade beans. Shady, shady as anything. Good God. <sighs> Lemon Pest, why did we come here? Oh yeah, I forgot. We were dragged here by a bloody space station that was on the fritz. <sighs> so this is how the I'm, I just... So we've got two brothers who want to kill each other. And we've now got some bloody woman who basically wants us to kill her family members to cut off the Varun Zealots? Is that the... the script here? I just... okay, so... let's have a look here. So... ah! Oh, it's not really that far away, actually, is it? So do we need to go around the outside of the city? I think we do. Well... Keep armory, nice. Okay, well, let's um, let's uh, see what we can do then. What's this? Oh, like a little barracks thing? Groat meat. The, it's still concerning the word oh, groat. Talk about me, by the way. But, you know, you try and help people. You try and do things to make their life better, and that is what they do. Gossip behind your back. All right, so we need to go out here. Okay. Come on, lemon pest. We're um, we're going on a little adventure. Can we not go out here? What? What? Good lord, sir. Oh, do I have to go through here? Ah. Maybe we have to go back up to the spaceport. Never mind, that's fine, we can do that. Do I maybe have to just... Leave, Orahim. You're not welcome here. I am not making any of this. A few months ago, I oh my. made you all regret treating me this way. Oh, dear. Whoa! All right. Making your uh, can we calm down? Save your bullets. I am going. Or him. I do not want any trouble. Oh. Okay, hello? You. You are the one who spoke with uh, Nasco Varun. Yep. And you wish to speak with me? Um. Yes, unless you're busy with something. You misunderstand. 
No one in Dazra speaks with me, or even acknowledges my existence. If they do, it is with scorn. And yet, here you are, speaking with me as if I were a person. Which begs the question, what do you want with me? Who sent you? No one sent me, I'm just curious, you know. What was... Yeah, I just... well actually, no, nobody sent me, I just wanted to talk. Hmm. If that is true, we should continue this conversation elsewhere. Meet me at my shack outside of Dazra. You cannot miss it. Well, all right. Um... Yeah, I'll meet you there. Good. I look forward to having a real conversation. First one in months. There you go. That's yeah. All right. Interesting. Apologies, but I need to prepare. Uh, Lemon Pest, just be aware. We we might get murdered when we go to that no, shack. Oh well, he might attempt to murder us. I don't think he'll get very. How the hell do we get out of this bloody place? Good lord! Is it through here? Do we maybe just have to do this? <laughs> Way Shrine of Redemption? What's that? Can I have a look at this? Ooh, kind of interesting. Uranium. All right. Hello. Way Shrine of Redemption. Wow. So, Ooh. hello, lemon pest. You caught up, did you? And what in? Pull in. I don't want the grope thing. Okay. Yep. Yep. Nah. Mind you, it is a ledger. Oh god, it's a ledger. Refined Varun Quick Strike. Decent value on it. Just realised this. I mean, this could be somebody's little, little place here. But... Hello. Um, Great servant. Grant you mercy to his lost soul. Vijun Hello. Ahmad. Shall we speak for a moment? Okay. I welcome you, fellow traveller. Have you come seeking redemption for your sins? Or has your journey brought you here for some other purpose? Um, I'm just looking around. An explorer as well as a traveler, then. Yep. I suspect you have yet to walk the path of redemption. There is no cause for shame. We must each choose the time that is right for us to make the journey. I would be happy to explain the custom, if you like. Oh, sorry, would you like to join in the conversation? Bloody hell. Um... Please do, go on. Ah, thank you, my friend. Your kindness is a gift, for it brings me happiness to speak of the path. Spread across the land are four way shrines. Each offers words that describe a pillar of our society. To sin against the great serpent demands an act of absolution. We first come here to pray for forgiveness. And then we make a journey. We travel to each of the way shrines, reading their words and contemplating their meaning. When that is done, we return here to renew our pledge of devotion to the Great Serpent. In this way, we are redeemed. Um. Do you know what? I like to take in the sights, so I'll visit the waste runs. Oh, there are sights to behold, I promise you. And who knows? You might even find more than you seek. Hey, maybe. Wisdom. Perhaps if your mind is open to it. Well, maybe. I don't Here, know. you'll need this. It's my copy of the original Path of Redemption, written years ago by the honored Ranjik Dosa. Okay. It was he who first walked the path, guided by the Great Serpent. Begin reading it here, 
and follow the steps carefully. I shall await your return. I'm quite curious to know what you make of the experience. All right. I thought you were going to give me a ewer that I'd have to fill with water or something. All right, so, okay. I don't want that. Thank you. So I read this. Words of redemption. Okay. As the coils of the great serpent create a divine circle, the path of redemption begins and ends here. Okay, what the hell? Forgive me. I prefer silence. Yeah, well, all right. Weird, very weird. So this is where we need to go. Yes, very reminiscent that one. Very reminiscent. Good God! Just how far away is this bloody place? Good Lord, there must have been an easier way, surely to God. One of them bird things, can we scan these? Yep, yep. Come on then, lemon pest, I suppose we better, um, groats. Are they supposed to be like goats? I suppose. <coughs> Ow. Maybe. Well, they're getting scanned a lot. Oh, hello. Uh. All right. Okay. <coughs> Jeez. Do you bloody mind? What the hell? Bloody vortex phantoms for crying out loud. Okay, well, I, yeah, I don't think the groats like them either. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, Sorry, groats. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna, um, You know. Take the lootage for myself. Oof. And do you know what? We can take in some of the local sites too. Which is good. Nautilus scavenger thing. What's all this? Okay, so there's a set. Ooh. Xanter's Journal 2? Okay, well, where's Xanter's Journal 1? Is there a Xanter's Journal 1? Looks like they came out here and got a little got a little drunk. Okay. Yep. Uh whoa. That's kinda cool looking. I'll take that. Okay, so We don't know what happened to his journal one, but do you know what? Let's see what his journal two had to say for itself. Xanter's journal two. There it is. How many more nights must I stay before I am shown a vision? I lay here beneath the stars, weary, but I know my time must come. I can feel the presence of the Varun before me, the power of this place. With his guidance, we shall persevere. It cannot be much further. Well, it might be. It might be. Bloody hell. This is kind of cool, though. It's interesting to kind of have a look at all the local flora and stuff. I do wonder, you know, pre, um, hello, pre shattered space, if you came to this neck of the woods, would you still find the same sort of fauna and flora or are they specific to the shattered space DLC? God bless it. I just want a Skyrim my way up this thing. <laughs> We're in the right spot. Um, I'd just love to know where the turret is. So... Have we got to be sneaky about this? Or... Maybe we don't have to be that sneaky about it. I don't know. Let's, um... Well... Suppressed. 
All right. Ah, there's the turret. More autograph hounds. Okay, well, so much for, um, you know, being quiet. Okay, well, do you know what? If we're going loud, let's go bloody loud then. Ow. Alright, whoa! Alright, I'm in. No, apparently not, Lemon Fist. Whoa! Bloody hell, what is that thing? Ow, where is it coming from, for crying out loud? Yep, what? Wh there we are. Alright. Well, could have been quieter. Could have been way quieter. Did I miss? Have I missed? What is this? Bloody hell. Okay, this is this this is not good. Okay, where is that coming from? Oh god, Lemon Pess here. There we go. Let's put a stop to him. Can I get you through this fence? I bloody well can, look at that. Alright, well, we're going loud and proud, I suppose. Oh, that, there you go. All right, all right. There we are. There we are. Really? Oh, you ducked, swine. I mean, what a lovely thing to call me, Lemon Pest, you know? Sometimes, mate, you just you just say the right thing. Okay, it's a turret. That's what it is, a turret. There we are. Well, not exactly um, quiet. I mean, groat pie. Uh Just have a look at this. Helmet's a bit weird. No. <laughs> Groat pie. Well. Oh, it's got good value. All right. Come on then, lemon pest. We've um, we've kind of caused a ruckus. I thought I could be quieter than that, but never mind, never mind, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, sorry! I mean, I'm not that sorry, let's be real. I'm not really that sorry. I'm really not that sorry. Yep, yep, no thank you. Uh, ooh, we got weapons workbench. Can we put a silencer on this? Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. The last breath. There we go. Hmm. I don't have the. I don't have the. Um, the parts for it, and it would reduce the range quite a lot. <sighs> all right. All right. Well, well, that's fine. That's fine. We can we can faff about later. Ooh. Okay. Huh. Who would have thought, Lemon Pest? We just kind of busted in and took what we wanted. Well, didn't take what we wanted. We just basically murdered everybody. And now we can do what we want. Brilliant. 
brilliant, brilliant. I don't know what that guy over there was using though. I'll have, to have a look at that, I'm sure. Oh! Look at this adhesive, adhesive! Oh my god! The excitement. Creds, fuse. Ah! Garbage. I don't think he was up here, was he? Down here somewhere. On this walkway, I think. Yeah, there he is. Oh! Or was it you? 20 mil particle rocket. Is is that what the penumbra does? Twenty. It is. Bloody hell! Oh no. Actually, let's um forget that I was about to say Lemon Pest, would you like one of those? Because I know what will happen. You'll end up bloody killing me. Because that's you all over, isn't it, Lemon Pest? Shadow Station Epsilon. Here we are. Bam. We made it. We made it, Lemon Pest. We did it. But we just have to find the hostages now. I don't think there'll be many of these zealots left, hopefully not anyway. There might be one up here, as we know they like to chill out at the top of things. Anything else? Ooh. <sighs> -la 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 That's what that is. Bloody troll. That's, that's, yep. Okay, yep, yep. Yep. No. Okay, is there anything else here? No. Okay. Just, just, yeah. I'm just gonna... <clears throat> Oof, pop down here. Ooh, what is that? A herding rocky blade back grazer. Interesting. Ah. Well, um, okay. Let's head up. See what's going on inside here. It's a little creaky. Bloody hell, scared the life out of me, man. Okay, so I'm guessing that they're going to be in here somewhere. Why am I hearing a, a lift? Yep, nope, and nope. Nothing for us here. Lemon Pest, would you believe? Shocker, I know. Okay, oh. Take that. Loaded here. Hmm. Could we do this quietly? Um, potentially. Oh, let. No, we couldn't do this quietly. Not even slightly. Alright. Well. I must start remembering what Last Breath is on. What is it on, actually? Where is it at the moment? Three. Okay. Alright. Well. pretty good. Alright, well, this, this is going to be interesting. Oh, sneaky. Ducked back behind the bloody door like a coward. Okay, there's a turret. There's a bloody turret. Is there a turret? Turrets on the ceiling, I assume. Out there, maybe? Alright. 
Not ideal. Not ideal. But you know what? Might as well have a little look around. Ooh, hello. I see something I like. And I like it. Just not hitting anything there, am I? No! And now you're dead. Yep. Oh, hello, what's this? Robot control. Now then. Well, we all know I've got to do it. Okay. Oh, no, cancel that. And, um, I'll just, just set them going. Why not? Why not? Just for the lols. Hello, mate. Sorry you had to go, but, well... <laughs> okay! Jeez! I got turrets! <laughs> it is! Lemon pest, but you know what? Thankfully, I think we'll be okay. Well, don't stand in the blooming way of it, Lemon Pest, you they fool. They must have seen your reflection somewhere and ran to it. Maybe. Who can say? Whoa! All right. Bloody hell. There we are. <laughs> oh. Are you going to poke your head back out? Didn't stand a chance. Didn't stand a chance, Lemon Pest. Do let's reload. Just carefully. Oh, God. Really? What? Don't mind me, I'm just, um, you know. Oh, for crap. Yes, uh, it's a ledge. Nah. Hard loading professionals advanced Grendel. Why not? I haven't escaped. I'm still bloody here. I'm just looting rather foolishly when I should be shooting. Hmm. But where are? Where could they possibly be? Who can say? Who can say? Well, we'll take that. Y'all down there somewhere? Probably. Alright. Well, that's alright. It's fine. Oh, there you are. And now you're dead. Lemon Pest, please don't get in the way, mate. We're, um, you know. There is nothing. There is nothing. Apparently, they're blind. Blind as a bat. Good lord. Okay. Ah, so the hostages are down there, are they? Well, hmm. Should we try and cause a ruckus? Hello! Here I am, causing a ruckus. It's a bowl, an incense burner. Lovely. Okay, well, alright. Was this where we came from? Yes, it was. Okay, well. Hmm. Interesting, they've set themselves up here. 
take that turkey. But we are going to leave it there for today. Next time, we will continue and rescue the hostages. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.